Hey, Noptop here with a Quick Effects Mobile Edition. Hey, uh, two in the morning, why not just do a video? This is on my iPhone and I'm using Movie Pro app. And the cool thing about this app, it lets me hit pause. So this whole thing's gonna be cut and uploaded right from my phone. So let's just get right to it. This is basically the rig setup for the updated version of the PVC shoulder rig. And as you can see, it really is the exact same design, same dimensions and everything. The only difference is when I flip this over, you can see the bottom I replaced with a cross PVC piece instead of that conduit box. Now what that lets that do is make it something that a lot more people can get a hold of. That conduit box seemed to be a problem for a lot of people to pick up and it wasn't too common of a piece. But I was experimenting with this little L channel in the front, as you can see here. And what that does is elevate the camera and lets you run a camera with a viewfinder. I found that the lower mount also worked with a battery grip on the camera. It seemed to work really fine. And like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do a build video on this because it's exactly the same build as the original. I just switched out the centerpiece. But I know a lot of people have requested to see this rig. And this is the setup. Now setting the camera on here, you can see this is set up on the lower mount. And the viewfinder is not really totally in place. But you can see this is actually a little too low for operation. I had a battery grip when I had this set up. But the battery grip made it elevate perfectly. As you can see, though, this front section, which is, in my opinion, just temporary, works as well. The reason I said it's temporary is because this is kind of an experimental setup. But this does work. You can see it really elevates the camera there. And that is just basically a little plug, as you can see right here, with a little quarter 20 screw going through it. And I don't even have any washers. I was using washers, but I found that that piece alone is supported the camera perfectly fine. I've never had any worries about it slipping. Even though it doesn't really look super secure, it's on there pretty well. The lens on this camera is a 1770 Sigma lens and I actually really like it. It's a 2.8. Um, it's a variable f-stop 2.8 to 5.6 or something. But it's uh, been working out. Hopefully I'll do a little video testing rep. What do you call it? I don't know. Review. Anyways, back to the rig. As you can see, this plug just kind of slides right in there. You push it down, and it is set. Uh, something I want to mention, this is the exact same setup as the original. So if you want to see that, you can click a link in the description to watch that. But I want to mention the shoulder setup. This is the basic PVC setup of that shoulder section. But something that I did, and I don't know if it's going to show up, it actually is angled. Here, let me get a different angle. When you set yours up, as you can see, this sits on my right shoulder and I have it slightly angled to match the contour of my shoulder. And that it really helps out, keeps everything level and it just sits better. A lot of times you want to build these, you want to make it perfectly straight and your shoulders aren't straight unless you are a square. So anyways, there's a setup, quick effect style. I had to put down the poster board to kind of cover the workbench. Uh, something else I want to mention, as you see here, this looks like it's black paint, but it really is a PVC dye, and it's a dark, dark blue. It's kind of hard to tell. It was something else I was experimenting with, and I actually totally hated the dye. It's super expensive and took forever, but now I really like it because it dries instantly, and once it's on, it does not scratch off very easily. It's so much better than paint. It just is takes a bunch of coats to get this dark, dark color. The shoulder padding is this a uh, little bit thicker insulation, pipe insulation. It seemed to work a lot better than, I guess, the more foam rubber-ish type stuff. And you, I hot glued it at the seam. But this stuff comes with a tape that is serious business. That stuff sticks together. It is almost impossible to come off. So it's actually really nice. And it's super soft, too. Anyways, that's four minutes. Uh, that's about all. I just wanted to at least show the rig. Hopefully, this is enough um, information for you guys that want to build it. Like I said, reference the first video and just replace the conduit box with a X, or not an X, a uh, four PVC square. What's it called? A four? Uh, I don't even know. Anyways, this is on my iPhone with the Movie Pro app, and I was hitting pause and record the whole time. So this is all edited going directly up. Anyways, that's all. Nop top quick effects. Oh, one more thing. I generally don't roll with a camera strap, but I was getting a little paranoid lately. I almost dropped my camera a few times. And so what I did was I actually got a linyard from a smaller camera and I just mounted it to one side. I hook it to my right hand like this. And it's just enough security where I feel like if I did drop it, it's gonna give me that one little last chance. 
I wouldn't recommend doing it a lot. As you can see, it's probably not set up to be that, hold that kind of support, but it makes me feel a little bit more confident than not having anything at all. But anyways, you can see there, a little wind muff. Find out more at Nomtop. Quick effects, go make some. Whoa, look at that spider. That's crazy. This app is so nice, it lets you lock in the uh, focus, the aperture, and the white balance even. Crazy. I think it was coming to get me. All right. Wow, this, this video is running a lot longer than I expected. Thanks for watching. Now it's up. I'm out of here.